Let's go back to one of our top stories, the debate over whether Illinois lawmakers should return to Springfield. Several legislative items have been delayed because of the pandemic. There's also the question over whether lawmakers should take up Governor Pritzker's stay-at-home order. Now the two lawsuits have been filed over it. Illinois Senate Minority Leader Bill Brady says if the state can make grocery shopping safe, lawmakers should find a way to return to the Capitol. Senator Brady joins us now live tonight to talk about this and some other things. Senator, uh, thanks for joining us. There are more calls from Republicans even as late as tonight to bring lawmakers back. How would you make that work, first of all, and is this an effort to get more involved in the debate over the stay-at-home order? I'm sorry, I didn't hear your question. Uh, just with these calls to bring the lawmakers back, how would you make that work? And is this primarily to get involved in the debate over the stay at home order? Well, as I've said, if we can operate grocery stores and other places safely, we, we need to apply the same practices to the Illinois General Assembly. Uh, the governor's carried the load here uh, since. Uh, mid-April, and it's time for the legislature to help him uh, work our way out of this. And uh, I believe that uh, we're, we're willing to go back. I believe there's a safe way to go back. We have to arrive at that and uh, do the work that the people elected us to do. Well, Senator, I know you did speak with the governor about this, and also during today's briefing, he said that lawmakers are essential workers and can reconvene at any time. It's up to legislator, legislative leaders to make that decision. I know that House Speaker Mike Madigan is against it. And I, I just don't think that's the right call. Um, we're asking people to go to work at the grocery store and other places. Uh, we can ask the legislature and, and, and figure a way to do it safely, uh, to play our role in this process. Uh, as I said, the governor's carried the weight of this uh, pandemic on his shoulders. It's time for us to exercise our responsibility and uh, help him arrive at solutions that work to the best interest of the people of Illinois. So you'd rather he tell you to go back? I don't. I, I, I really don't care who tells us. I, I, I think it's time for us to go. My caucus feels it's time for us to go to work and help the governor solve this state's problems and make decisions on behalf of the states. There are things that we simply disagree and we need a voice for. Uh, we believe that if the local grocery store can open up and operate safely, and if they couldn't, we shouldn't let them, that other businesses should give, be given that right. We believe we need a, a plan for which Illinois to open back up based on criteria that science gives us. How so you, these are, go ahead. Go, I'm sorry, I was gonna say, how do you think the governor has done with the crisis and what would you do differently? I'm, I find no fault with what the governor has done from his perspective. He comes from a very, uh, very conservative perspective in this regard. Uh, but I think he needs to push forward more of a plan that takes into the fact that Illinois is a very diverse state. Uh, we have very different parts of the state, and the effect of parts of the state may be like some of the states that have been least affected by this, uh, and, and re regionalize our re-engagement into this and give us a plan for that. I'm not saying any part of it's ready for the phase one of the Fauci plan, but I am saying that uh, we need a plan. We need to know what direction there's going to be. The Senate Republican caucus is willing to step up and help the governor uh, develop that plan, uh, remove the uncertainty of the plan, and uh, analyze the data so we can start rebuilding Illinois' economy in a very safe way. When we are elected as a legislature to do the work the people elected us to do, I believe we can do it safely, and we should. So at right at this point, you don't think we should stay, the Illinois should stay at home from May to May 30th, May 1st to May 30th? I didn't say that. I think okay. we need to, we need to we analyze. We need a plan. We need a plan. Uh, the medical community has to tell us they can step up and take care of what's needed, uh, unlike when we first initiated this. We've done a, made a lot of progress within the medical community. And then we need to look at what can be done safely. We're going to have to live with COVID-19 for a longer period than we want to, want to. And we're going to have to realize that there are ways which we can live with it safely until there is a vaccine. Right. So, Senator, we just have a few seconds left, and this is a heavy question to ask you with just 30 seconds to answer. But what do you think the budget's going to look like? What about cuts and tax increases? What's going to be the Republican plan here? 
you know, I don't think we have any idea today. Um, I, I think that uh, we're going to have to see how quickly this economy can re-engage itself, putting people back to work. Uh, the, clearly, the budget's going to be very, very difficult. Probably no ever greater time where the people of Illinois need their government to step up and help them, and yet probably no more of a challenge when it comes to revenues, which is another reason any business that can operate safely needs to get the opportunity to do that, to help us with the revenues we're going to need to help the people of Illinois uh, who are going to need our help. Thank you, Senator. Be safe and be well. Thanks. Be safe as well.